What's up everybody, Black Dragon Rider here. How you guys doing? Today is a big day for me right now. <clears throat> In my other video, if you guys can remember, that I did an assessment, uh, um, a job that I actually applied for. Now it is actually Thursday. I'm actually heading right now for an interview. So, <laughs> fingers crossed for me guys, I will get this job. And I'm, I know this job is mine, I've just got to be fucking confident, 100% confident. So, yeah, fingers crossed, and this could be my big break. This could be my big break. So that means now that if I do get this job, that means there'll be more videos will be coming out. And also, I'll be going to more, more cycle meets as well. And hopefully do a test, get my full license and uh, get a, um, a nice good budget bike. And what I mean by budget bike, I'm not going to get myself a freaking big massive bike and then freaking find out like, that I can't afford to keep it on the road. I don't want to be one of those guys where they buy themselves a big massive bike and then they realise they can't pay the insurance or something that and they'll be like, damn, I have to freaking have to ride my other bike if they didn't sell it but I'm not going to sell this bike, I'm going to keep this bike as um, as a backup because I'd rather have a backup motorcycle because I, you know, I freaking prefer to have a backup vehicle and I'm not going to get myself a second hand it's, it's just not going to happen. I'll probably get myself... I probably will get myself a second-hand motorcycle. You know, if I have freaking... Say, maybe... Two good working motorcycles. And if, if one... If that fucks up, at least I've got a spare vehicle. And I'm not going to get myself a car because it costs me freaking... Arm and a leg. And uh, I just want to turn around and say to you guys, and I will say again, even as I said it into the last video, thank you for anyone, no, <laughs> thank you for everyone that stay at the on my YouTube channel, because at the moment it, it is freaking hard right now, and I'd be damn freaking lucky if I can get this job, and you know my. It's, it's just, it's really freaking difficult. And just seeing my subscri my subscribers like leaving my YouTube channel, I was like, oh fuck. And I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do? I just worked so hard and I'm like losing subscribers, man. This is freaking bull. Re really bull. And, and I put so much time into my YouTube channel and also the, the worst thing about it is I, I put a lot of work into in my YouTube channel and I was trying to find a way to make it much better but when you like on freaking benefits and all that stuff and you, you've got to freaking think about it say to yourself okay I need to you know hold back on doing YouTube and also since that I'm not getting much money coming in it's like damn I don't have a lot of money for for petrol and you just kind of have to like stop doing the things that you that you like and it, it really sucked but you know it's, it's some people actually did more vlog and they've been in my situation you know fuck you know you're gonna, you're gonna realize it but if people you know got a job 
They do many videos. They do many videos. They'd be doing a lot of videos because they got a job and they're going out on their bike. I mean, they they got a freaking advantage right there. They're working. Money's coming in for them. They don't have to. Um, they don't have to worry about petrol money. They're getting paid like weekly. So it's like you're lucky. For me, I have to like be careful of how much petrol I consume on my bike and I have to be careful where I go and sometimes that you gotta make such a sacrifice you have to do those things and then the worst thing about it is when you're doing YouTube videos you just technically have to stop doing your YouTube channel for a bit and try to find a way it's, it's kind of really hard to explain I think that you have to be in my situation to to understand and when when you've been in that situation like me then you're gonna be like oh that's what a black dragon rider means and it's, it's the second thing as well uh, i think i already said the second thing i don't know how hard it is doing youtube videos i mean like a creator i know that people are saying you know do it for the community and i just keep laughing about it, it says yeah i am doing it for the community but if you've got no money coming in how are you supposed to do it for the community if you don't have any money coming in i mean if you're working then you know you know fucking fine you know you're working you're doing and you're getting money you got a job but when you don't have a job it's kind of like freaking hard well i'm actually done into my interview and uh, basically it probably take next week to find out if I got the job or not not really happy that I have to work on a bloody weekend I hate working in the weekend, but it's something that, like, you know, you just want to freaking just relax and recharge. Working seven days a week, but I know what people say, think about the money, think about the money. Uh, problem with me is, since I've seen families fighting over money, trying to cut each other out, I'm technically not money driven when people say think about the money think about the money I just really pretty much can't the only time that, that I totally need the money is um, if I definitely need it I'm glad they had changing rooms in there because my god I think amount of jobs that I went to that didn't have changing rooms and that I was like what you don't have changing rooms but this place does I was like oh my god you got lockers as well oh my days because when I when I found out they got lockers I was like thank goodness because some places now they don't even have lockers and you're just like what Are you expecting me to You're expecting me to just leave my valuables and got no freaking lights. Got no going to just leave my valuables out so someone can take them. No, no, thank you. Yeah, so uh, wish me luck, guys. If I got the job. I'm glad that interview wasn't a test. Just asked me some bunch of questions, even though I had my CV and and everything just just there. And I was like, oh, so I don't, <laughs> I, don't I don't have to bring all my uh, all, all my certificates and 
my CV and, and and all that. I was like, oh, okay. So I'll probably let you guys know if I got the job or didn't get the job. If I didn't get a job, it's back to the drawing board. Waiting there in confidence, but saying it is my job. Fighting for people, saying, you know, you're not taking my job. <laughs> I think that's what you have to do these days. You've got to be like, that's my job. I know it's my job. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll probably put something at the end of this video and let you guys know if I've got the job or not. So, guys, thank you for watching. If you are supporting me, uh, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye bye. Mission failed. We'll get them next time.